Yo, what's up, guys? Lockout man here in the truck for this evening's podcast, man. Lots of things that been going on. So many situations this morning. But uh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. What's going on, guys? Lockout men in the truck on the 30 for this podcast for this evening. So let's just jump right into it, man, without no further ado. So today I had a load that was picking up from Arkansas. Yeah, Arkansas. Well, my first load that I was that I was supposed to pick up from Arkansas that was supposed to be going down to Florida. I thought I was going down to Florida. Unfortunately, all that changed. When I got there, they said that the trailer could not be no more than 10 years old. I was up under the threshold of that. But when I got into the trailer, unfortunately, the trailer didn't meet the specs of the company so they rejected me so i got layover pay for that day now this morning i got another load of steel that was picking up from arkansas now i almost had to i almost had to turn the load back because i couldn't move the trailer you know i i I couldn't get the you know it's not the push button to let the air out it's the it's the release bar and i couldn't get the release bar locked into place to move the trailer for nothing but of course with human ingenuity and all that good stuff i was able to do it pulled it locked it done now i'm rolling uh i'm right here in tennessee i want to say yeah 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 in between memphis and nashville right now so i should be back in ohio sometime tomorrow to get rid of this trailer but while i'm going back to ohio tomorrow guess what i've been trying to tell you guys this good news for for almost a week now you know i've been coming on my live i've been teasing it and i never got around to saying it but i got it i'm about to tell it plain and simple plain and simple it started six months ago when I plant the bug in the uh, maintenance guy's ear, and I was telling him that I, I was interested into an, in, in a new truck. And he was like, well, the truck you in is new. And I'm like, huh? I said, no, nah, that truck is like a 2013, 2014, bro. He was like, no, 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 that's the truck that we got for you when you came over. I was like, Oh, okay, y'all got, you know, the used joint. I understand, you know, you didn't want to get a brand new truck for a driver, you know, just in case the marriage wasn't going to be good. I got you. I got you. So I was like, you know, six months in, I was like, yo, uh, let's revisit the new truck thing. Well, right now we're not buying new trucks yet, but, you know, when we do, I'll let you know. I was like, all right, cool. About a month later, they did buy some new trucks, but they didn't, you know, they didn't get the one that I wanted. You know what I'm saying? I said I wanted a, uh, I wanted a uh, automatic. But at that time, they got a couple of they got a couple of manuals because you know a lot of the guys there they drive manuals and and the uh, and the uh, trainer dude needed a new truck anyway because he needed a double bump so that he can you know have an extra bump for his trainee so i was like all right cool all right he was like but he said i'll I'll still keep you up there don't worry about it i got a call just last week and guess what he said lockout what's up man i got a truck for you i said man stop it he was like yo i got a 2016 international pro star dd uh dd15 engine wolf let me tell you what's in it or uh uh uh, a apu i was like bruh thank you that's what i need an apu up in this piece he was like you got an apu but also also i was like also also what you have a refrigerator i was like what I said, man, five years in the game of me wanting the refrigerator, I finally got one. 
finally got my refrigerator. So I am very happy now. I, I got my refrigerator. I got my APU. I got my new truck. We're going to make it happen in the, uh, 2020. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So shout out. Shout out to the maintenance guy uh, up at my company. Shout out to you, man. Thank you very much. Shout out to my other man that's getting it ready for me. It will be ready for me tomorrow. I would definitely, once I drop this, this crazy ass trailer off that I damn near couldn't move. As soon as I drop that off, I'll, I'll switch everything over that's in here into the new truck. Am I going to do a truck tour? No. No. I don't need to do no truck tour. What you need to what what I need to do a truck tour. All you got to do is just type up 2016 International Pro Star and then you 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 can see inside of the truck. It's basically the same. Don't need to do no truck tour. All right. So let's get into uh let's get into tonight's uh responding to comments uh podcast tonight. So of course, I came across uh, a new video that pops up. Um, I am subscribed to this guy, by the way. Um, but it, it, but this particular video popped up. Scooby-Doo, what's going on, man? Scooby, Scooby-Doo, Trucker Scooby-Doo. He talks about driver, driver's truck broken into while in the shower. And wallet was taken while getting coffee. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Drivers, you gotta you you gotta be a little bit more diligent out here. Scooby was talking about this truck driver that went into the uh, in there to get his shower, and while he was in there getting the shower, some some dude pulled up in his car got out of the car jumped into his truck and probably cleaned everything out scooby wasn't scooby said that he saw that the guy got into the truck got out of there with a uh with a with a playstation uh took his wallet and uh and a few other things i'm not sure if scooby was able to uh see any you know what all that was taken I'll go ahead and link, of course, I'll link the video in the description be, uh, below so you guys can peep it out. But, um, but yeah, he was saying that, you know, the, the tips, especially for the women out here, to be safe. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, these mega carriers get these trucks, all right? And they, they get these trucks with with the same key like the same key can open up each and every one of those trucks i i guess for practical reasons i guess i don't know but you know i i was broke down or not broke down but i was locked out now let me tell you what happened about about a couple of years ago i was locked out i was up at the loves i think i did a video about that but i was locked out and I went over to the guy and asked them if they had some uh, had some lockout tools. Now, I was able to get in my truck plenty of times with the lockout tools, but unfortunately, they didn't they didn't have none in the uh, in the in the in the shop, nor did Loves have any lockout kits in the store. So I was like, Fuck. How am I going to get back in the truck? I didn't want to, you know, I, I didn't want to call the company and wait about four hours for a locksmith to come or for, you know, lockout guy to come. So I asked the dude, I was like, well, look, you got a coal hanger. You got a, you, you, you got something that we could Jimmy rig. This dude came over to my truck, pulled out an old, like Oldsmobile car key. He had a regular car key, a Oldsmobile car key, and I, I, I think I, I think I filmed it, but I'm not sure. If I did, if I did film it, I don't think I put it up because you know for obvious reasons. But um, he came with the car key. He juggled the car key 
and actually unlock my door with a car key. I kid you the freak not. He unlocked my door with a car key, bruh. Oh, man. I looked at dude. I was like, are you serious? He was like, it, I, I did it to another truck. I was like, what? that that truck must have been an inter, uh, international, too. He was like, you know what? It was. It was an international. It was an international. And I was like, you you can't be serious right now. He was like, yeah, I'm dead serious. So, yeah, he, he opened up the door with a car key. So, you guys out here, when you go and, and leave your truck, definitely secure your truck. When you leave up out of your truck, you take your essentials. You take your wallet, your phone, your keys. Period. That's I, I did a video about that. That's the three most important things that that you can't afford to lose. You can't afford to lose your wallet. You can't afford to lose your keys. And you definitely can't afford to lose your phone. All right. Even though your your phone and your keys, you could probably, you know, get back. But now it's 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 like it's like mandatory to keep those things because you keep viable information inside of your phone. I mean, a lot of you guys put your credit cards in your phone so y'all can y'all can just tap and pay with your phone. You guys, you know, you guys in your wallet, you got your money, your credit cards or whatever you got in your wallet. So you can't afford to lose either or, you know, if you do, then you got to go through the motions of cutting all the credit cards off and and trying to get some of your trying to get some of your money. Some of you guys even leave your fuel cards in your wallet. So if you do lose that, you have no way of fueling up the truck because they took your fuel card. You know what I'm saying? So definitely keep those three things on um, on it. All right, so let's get into it. Let's get into it. Like I said, he uh, he said, you know, he he said that he uh, the guy called the police. Um, the guy called the police, and you know, Scooby showed them the video of the guy going into the truck and all like that. I was, you know, I was kind of watching, and I was kind of saying to myself like, huh. Bro, why you didn't run in there and kind of like, you know, went into the, went in there and and say, you know, somebody breaking into your truck. But, you know, like he said, like Scooby said, he he thought it was a, he thought it was a co-driver or something like that. I don't know how he could figure that it was a co-driver, especially if the dude drove up to, you know, drove up to the truck. I don't know. But let's get into these, uh, let's get into these comments, y'all. Let's get into these comments. All right. Ron Vallet says they should have they should have a keypad on the door instead of a key so that when you start to drive a truck, you have your own code and you can change it at any time. My Ford F-150 has that. Keys are very old technology that only keeps honest people out but not the criminals um yeah i got uh i got a ford f-150 and i have a key code i i have a keypad on my uh on my ford but unfortunately if you lose if you can't remember the keypad and <laughs> if you can't remember the key code then what's the point <laughs> some trucks now i seen i, I seen one international that did have a keypad on there. And I think my girl drove it. And she I, I looked at it and I was like, Do you do you know the key code to it? She was like, No. I don't know the key code to it. But she was like, Why do I need the key code? I keep my key on me all the time. So I don't think keys are very old, bruh. I, I'd rather have a key for everything. What I don't like is new technology where you can just push button, you know, push but push to start a car. I don't like that. I, I'd rather have a key 
to actually turn the ignition and start the key. I'd rather have a key to turn the key and unlock the door. You know what I'm saying? The the new Fango technology, I I'm I'm just not feeling. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I, nah. But I do have a keypad on on my Ford F-152. J Lip says I secure I secure my doors from the inside before I go to bed. Yeah, th- I, when when you in the truck, definitely. You know, if you're in the truck, to be much more secure, you want to secure your truck in the um before you go to bed. You know, you take your your seat belt and you wrap it around the arm handle or the tr- uh, or the door. And then you lock it and you be secure. But, but what about you not being in the truck? How are you going to secure it then? You know what I'm saying? You know, you lock you lock your truck doors and you just hope. And I, I guess you just hope and pray that nobody has a key that could fit your door and, you know, unlock it. Again, that goes back to taking the essentials your wallet your phone and your keys everything else in your truck you should be able to replace you can replace a playstation you can replace uh uh a crock pot uh an instapot a cooler you can replace all of that stuff what's going to be hard to replace is your keys your phone and your wallet that's those are the things that's going to be hard to replace, all right? It's, it could be easy to replace when you get home, but if you're far away from home and, you, you know, number one, you have no way of, of fueling the truck, which I think there is a way, you know, they'll probably, you know, get to the fuel station, they'll be able to take a calm data check or something like that. But, but I'm just saying, if you don't have no fuel, uh, if you don't have no fuel, the fuel car you won't be able to fuel your truck then the other situation you got to look at is that you don't have no credit cards you don't have your you don't have your debit card you don't have you don't have nothing you don't have nothing at all so definitely take those with you when you leave the truck and that's leave the truck for anything all right rock god says damn i stayed at that ta and the small loves up the road. I've been thinking of getting chains to tie the uh, to tie the doors at night. Again, when you inside the truck and you want more securement, yes, you could of course get chains and chain the doors, or you could just take the seat belt and uh, ro- uh, wrap it around the door and be secure that way. But. What about when you leave the truck? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know, like I said again, lock the doors and just hope and pray that nobody has a key that could fix your truck. That's all. SOC Travel says, I don't have an issue. Number one, I don't drive a company truck. Number two, when... We custom built the nine, the W9L. We had an alarm installed that if you don't have the fob with you, the truck will not unlock. I have recently ordered lock fuel caps for my truck. Keep safe out there and hide your stuff when you leave when you leave your truck park. Yeah, definitely. Hide it. Um you know the bunk area you can lift up the the bunk you know you can lift up the bunk and you could probably put some key items in the in the storage space down there and then you can lock it you know lock it up uh definitely you know put like like your playstation or or whatever you feel that's important it's kind of like put it in there when you leave your truck that's the same thing when you go home and you know if you leave your truck at a truck stop or if you happen to leave your truck somewhere where you're not able to watch it you know what i'm saying so definitely you know hide your items and like i said once again i'm going to keep stressing it 
make sure you take your essentials your keys your wallet and your phone make sure you take it crown king says has had to be trans am trucking why why bruh why do it has to be trans am trucking couldn't have been another trucking company like i don't know like like us express maybe why do it has to be trans am trucking man you know we we don't know what trucking company that the guy worked for that the other guy was able to get into the truck maybe he was a maybe he was the same uh trucker that worked for that company and just happened to see that particular truck and maybe had a key to it you know trans am trucking <laughs> bronze fan 1966 says especially since the industry is pushing felons to drive trucks watch your back trucks watch your back trucks especially since the industry is pushing for felons to drive the trucks watch your back as you're in the truck stops bronze fan 1966 says especially since the industry is pushing for felons to drive trucks watch your back truck stops are the new penitentiary really bro you really think that you really think that truck stops are the new penitentiary where you get that that correlation from now don't get me wrong i mean you know felons you know especially if it's not like a non-violent situation i mean you know especially if they ain't committed no murders or nothing like that but if you got like felons that went to jail for minor stuff like weed you know drugs and stuff like that don't don't you think they deserve a second chance i mean when they come out of prison they they are pressed to get a job you know what i'm saying and of course even though it says in the application you know we don't discriminate against felons but you know for sure that when you check that box saying that you're a felon for anything yeah they they're gonna they're gonna over they're not gonna they're not gonna discriminate against you they're gonna overlook it so being that these trucking companies that are felon friendly are giving these felons a second chance to come out here and make something of themselves man but Pen the truck stop is the new penitentiary I, I don't get that bro come on now the new penitentiary he also says who gets out of the truck without their cell phones and wallets uh, a lot of a lot of guys do uh bruh some you know a lot of guys do sometimes they uh sometimes they leave their 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 cell phones and wallets in the truck but me i learned my lesson long time ago and it wasn't be it, and it wasn't when i was in the truck all right i learned my lesson long time ago to keep my wallet my phone and my keys on me at all times when i get out of the truck it's on me when i get in the truck it's on me when i go to bed it's above me i don't even leave i don't even leave my phone my wallet or my keys in in front because you know we we shut the we shut the curtains and all like that and i heard a story from one driver that somebody actually came in the in in the driver's bunk while they were asleep can you freaking believe that and they took their wallet and they you know they took their wallets and all like that so i keep all my stuff back here with me <laughs> you know what i'm saying you're gonna have to open up this curtain and if you open up this curtain dude it's not -uh, it's gonna be hell to pay bro mm -mm, i'm just saying uh your real daddy 100 says i close the curtain put a work jacket over the back of my seat and an old pair of boots on the floorboard and an empty gun holster on the dashboard so no problems so far i feel you bro you gotta do you gotta do what you gotta do to deter uh these thieves from even thinking 
of coming over to your truck and and try to do some ill stuff to it. So if somebody walk past your truck and they they see that gun holster right there, they're gonna automatically know like, oh okay, well we're not gonna fuck with we're not gonna fuck with that dude. We ain't gonna fuck with him. You know, we we already know what he got in his truck. So yeah, if you whatever you can do to deter uh, thievery, definitely do it. Definitely do it. Aaron Roberts says that's the problem with these cheap ass companies having thousands of commonly keyed tractors. A huge safety risk. Yeah, uh, Freightliner, Internationals. Uh, I'm not sure Volvo. If Volvo is, leave it in the comments below. But definitely Freightliners and International do have commonly key tractors. Definitely. Uh, Orlando Johnson says, it's getting crazy out here. I keep telling my husband that we need to get a dog, especially since I drive midnight to noon shift. I see a lot of stuff going on at night. Yeah, I, I agree. If you can get some type of animal or have an animal companion with, with you, that's a good deterrent too. You know, a dog is definitely not, you know, is not going to let somebody come up in your truck. Unless you have one of those wiener dolls or one of those purse dolls, you know what I'm saying? Then, yeah. But still, if you have like a, maybe like a German Shepherd, a Pit Bull, a Baby Rottweiler or something like that, then yeah, they, you know, they, they're going to watch your truck. They're going to watch your truck. Tony Hippensteel. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Tony Hippensteel. He says, I had my truck broken into before, but caught the guy in the act. I grabbed my shower bag and headed back to the truck stop. I forgot my phone and was going back to my truck when I saw the guy breaking in. These case the lot. These case the lot, watching for drivers taking their bats, bats in, knowing that they will be going to the showers. And it gives them plenty of times to break in. Be careful out there, drivers. Yeah, definitely. You got you to gotta be diligent when you when you out here uh, going to the showers. You got to keep you you literally got to keep your head on a swivel like you gotta you gotta see who's who's doing devious things and if you if you see that then you might not want to like go in at that particular time if you if you feel something wrong trust your gut do your gut would never lie to you if you feel something wrong Probably it, it probably might be best to just, you know, stay put. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, thieves cased, cased a lot, a lot, a lot. They cased a lot, a lot. <laughs> Tried to say that five times. Anyway, when they do, they, they, they trying to find vulnerability. You know what I'm saying? It's just like these lot lizards. When they come knock on the door, you got to be careful with that, too, because... I was parked over at the Mike's Park uh, truck stop uh, about a couple of years ago. And this was over here on Lamar in Tennessee, in Memphis. And the chick knocked on the dude's door and he had his wallet in the, in the, side, in the side pouch of the door. As soon as he opened the door and the chick saw it, she took it and ran back to her pimp or to the car she came in or whatever and drove off. And yeah he was kind of he was kind of stuck so yeah definitely keep your head on the swivel when you out here in the parking lot man to make sure that you can catch anybody that's thinking about doing something devious jay smith says since the truck is a part of your living quarters i wonder if your stand your ground or make my day law applies to truckers defending himself while in this truck maybe possibly but a lot of unfortunately a lot of companies don't allow you to carry your personal weapon on a company truck now i'm not sure if the same goes for lease drivers 
it definitely don't go for owner operators because if they're owner operator their situation is is that some states don't see ccw license like my state sees my ccw license but maybe new york don't you see what i'm saying and then you'll probably have to end up taking your ammunition out and putting it in a lot box and keeping it in one spot and putting the gun itself in another box and keeping that in a it, yeah it's it's so it's it's so complicated uh, going through state to state without the understanding of which states you know your ccw license will be recognized but as far as the company driver goes a lot of these companies don't allow weapons uh like guns or something like that you know they they just don't allow it so that's you know that's probably will probably be fixed in the future i hope because of the because of the violence against truck drivers but we'll see we'll see leon miller says i always watch who's watching me especially cars sitting across the way or roaming through the parking lot definitely leon definitely man you you did the damn thing you doing the damn thing just by what you just said and what i just said a few minutes ago keep your head on the swivel always be alert on whoever looks devious if they look devious follow your gut and try and stay put until you until later on or until you see that the threat is gone uh adam hart says all that for a playstation putting your life at risk i don't understand how folks do it but they do yeah man people people take anything people take anything uh a friend of mine her son was 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 robbed at gunpoint for his shoes man my son my son was was robbed for his um uh, for his um uh, for his uh what, what do you call it the i uh the ipad or not an ipad the iphone what what was that thing with the music ipod ipod yeah people people put their lives at risk all the time man because you know they don't know this is what i say don't you, you don't know who you messing with it's, it's best not to mess with nobody out here you know you don't know what you don't know what they've been going through suppose that dude came back and and saw that man taking his stuff you you know what was going to happen right he was going to get he was going to get fucked up I'm just saying james fleming says scooby that's why i always live like i was still in the corp marine corps that is my truck is similar a chest set a few good books maybe a pillow anything of importance is on me when i leave the unit you can always break in you can steal my toothpaste jogging shorts at best plus if i ever have to drop the company drop the company due to their ignorance or failure to support their man in the field it will take a whole eight minutes to clean out the truck it's always worked for me to travel light as it is efficient yeah i'm <laughs> i i thought i considered myself traveling light but i gotta watch myself well too because i got a lot of equipment in my truck all right i mean i got i got a lot of equipment in my truck and i'm not going to say what's all in my truck let's just say that i am a little bit more diligent than i was before as far as you know locking my doors and making sure that my making sure that my truck is secure at night when i'm either in or outside of the truck so yeah i you know i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna probably in my new truck once i clean this out and when i get my new truck yeah i probably might you know ride a little bit lighter i used to have a whole bunch of hats in here i don't even keep my hats in here I only as you guys can see i'm still rocking the same hat 
You know what I'm saying? But I I used to have a I used to have a gang of hats when I was with uh, my previous company. That's all. That's all my shelves was. It was filled with hats. But now, uh, I I I took all my hats out of here. Uh, I got my, I got my clothes. I got lots of t-shirts. I I can't go can't go without my t-shirts. All right, I need my t-shirts. But as far as anything else that I don't need in here, I'm not gonna have in here. All right. Definitely, definitely. Well, that's it, y'all. That's it. Um, what you definitely want to do out here is definitely stay safe. Just please be careful, be diligent, be be wary of your surroundings. And like I said before, take your essentials, your keys, wallet, and phone. If you don't have one of the three, make sure you have all of them because as of right now, it's all important. It's, it's all important. Good stuff. All right, if you like things, if, after drinking this and saying that it's good stuff, it kind of got me thinking about something else, man. But if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell plus the all for more content like this. I am your host, Lockout Men. I appreciate you guys rocking out with me. Make sure you. Make sure you come back for more videos like this, more videos like Make the Call, more videos where I have interviews. If anybody's interested in coming on to the podcast, please reach out to me at lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. If you got a story to tell, reach out to me and we'll chop it up. Um, recruiters, yo, I make the call. Make the call to me. You know, let me know what companies that you want to represent for these new jacks out here. Come on the show. And uh, we'll, we'll chop it up. All right? All right, guys. With that said, I am done for the night. I'm about to hit the hay. And we about to get up out of here. You guys have a blessed day. And I will come back at you with another video. Hasta la vista, baby. I didn't think I could say that. Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la, hasta, hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> oh, I'm gone, y'all.